why opt out? I mean, I came back for a reason, and that reason was uh, not be average. I wanted to be great. I came back. I told uh, Coach Novell the reason I came back, and that's the, the reason I came back to win ball games and, and you know, help the team out, and I knew we could turn, it, turn this around. So why opt out? I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see why a lot of guys opting out because I know one of the reasons why I, I came back and one of the reasons I did come back to win ball games and, and not to be average. So that opting out, that wasn't even on my mind, opt out. Okay. Good morning. How's it going? Good morning. <laughs> so you mentioned you come back to be great. What does greatness look like to you this season? What are things that you want to accomplish from a team perspective and individually what do you want to accomplish? Uh, like uh, being consistent. Uh, no drop balls. You know, we had a lot of drop balls last year. Um, a lot of missed assignments. A lot of a lot of just little, just the little things. And the one of the little thing, what one thing a coach always teach. Um, he wanted to always have the little thing, get the little things right. So um, I felt like just coming back and just doing a little thing is gonna be great for me. And, um, no being consistent. No drop balls. Uh, you know, being a leader that I could be. Uh, like I said, like I said, uh, trying to be consistent. Um, I know we couldn't be at the stadium. We couldn't um, work out with the guy, um, with the coaches or anything. So uh, we had to do it on our own. So we had to get some weights and stuff like that. We had um, brought some weights to the crib, to our cribs, and um, you know we got it in every day. You know we ran, we ran up hills. Um, we made sure we stayed healthy. They brought us food. They dropped us food off and uh, made sure everything were everything right for us. And, um, you know, I appreciate everybody. Um, I appreciate them for that because um, that helped us out a lot. Um, even though we was on Zoom a lot, and, um, that really helped us out. You know, we grow as a team just by being on Zoom and, and being away from each other. And I, um, and I really appreciate that. Okay, next question will be Kurt Weiler, <coughs> Democrat. Hey, hey, good morning. I guess how, how, you, how weird has this offseason been? I guess weird being back together. And is there something now where after kind of the time has been kind of hard where you kind of don't take for granted the grind now like what you may have before? You said how weird it was? How weird it is? What did he say? <laughs> yeah, how, how, kind of how weird the offseason and is there something now where you kind of take it for granted like you may have before the grind and everything like that? Um, I could say, um, I mean, it's I could say, it been a tough it been a tough one for us. Um, cause I mean we uh we started off like probably like three practices in before all this stuff happening, and then we had to separate. So um, I mean just by all the pressure that been on us, and by um by we just meeting new coaches and stuff like that, and we ain't really have got that bond with all the coaches yet. But um, I feel like it been a lot of pressure on um, throw towards us, but um. One thing our uh, coach always say, he, he, t he tell us this every day, respond. We just got to respond. If we respond, w things will come out great. Okay, next question will be Perry. So, um, yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Um, I don't want to get too much. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can say um, uh, I know for sure. Um, uh, I'm gonna be moving around a lot. I'm gonna be moving around. I won't be on one side of the on um, one side of the ball. I know I'll be at a lot of position. You know, doing a lot of things, and I'm gonna be on special teams too. So uh, I feel like they're gonna be great for me. Um, just getting out there, being on special team, and helping out with special team, and moving around on offense. That'll be good. All right, David Bissett, you got the next one. Hey, Mario, how you doing? Good. Very good. Uh, you mentioned wanting to be more of a leader. How do you do that from afar, virtually, using Zoom, stuff like that? How do you do it when you can't be in the room as much as you want? 
Uh, just lead by example, you know. Um, do do the little things, like I said. Yeah, do the little things. Um, it always just take the little things. You could by me leading. Um, I don't really. I, I talk. I talk a lot. I I start to talk a lot. Um, more. Well, I start to talk more now. But I used to not just. I used to just lead by example. You know, just do things that um, we the right thing to do. Like the right things to do. Like I, well, I be um, you know. Stay out, stay off of practice. Stay off the practice for like ten, fifteen minutes, and uh, catch, catch more balls, catch more balls the QBs and stuff like that. Just, just the little things coach want us to do it, uh, and all the, all the right things. That, that's, that's really it. All right, Corey Clark. Uh, yeah, I uh, I think one thing I I really don't think the speed will go anywhere because God blessed me with that. And, uh, I don't think uh, that could be taken away from me. So uh, by me being two two twenty two twenty two, um, I feel like that just that just make me more powerful. Because when I feel like when I'm running now, I feel um, I feel good. I really do. I feel I feel real good. I feel like I don't got faster. And I just I feel like I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be good at doing what I do with this um the weight on. Yeah, uh, we definitely got to take some time with that, uh, I can say. Being a receiver, man, we running, doing all that, it, it just a, it's a whole face mask, you know, we ain't got no holes in it. Um, I think it's going to take time for us to get used to that because um, I know today it was <laughs> it was a, it was a lot. I mean, we running around, and I think I had to take my helmet and all like every play just to get a little breather. So I, it definitely going to take, take a little time for us to get used to it. Um, James, he got a different mindset, you know, a, a lot different mindset. I, I could, I could tell. Um, I see it in the eyes all the time. He tell me all the time, uh, just to stay focused and stuff like that. So I know his mindset different right now. Um, uh, I can say he don't grew. He don't grew a lot, you know. Just all the all the things we don't been through. All the last coaches, not knocking no coaches or anything, but all the stuff we don't been through. He don't been through so much and. I feel like he in he in the right direction right now, and he got the right coaches around here, and and they gonna get him. They gonna um, turn a lot of things around, and I feel like he gonna he lead he gonna lead us in the right direction, and you know I know he I know he ready to do that, and I feel like he gonna do that because uh, these coaches right now they be on us a lot, you know. Like I ain't I ain't saying like last year coaches wasn't on us a lot, but um they they really be on us a lot. Um you know every time he make a mistake they gonna get on to him and stuff like that. So um I feel like he's improving a lot, and just by the um the younger the younger quarterbacks I can see um I see Chubb, you know he coming along too. He just when he just get here um you know he got he got some things to work on, but he coming along and and Tate um he coming along too um them boys just everybody just really been working and uh, everybody been grinding so I'm looking forward to this fall camp and see how things gonna go out. All right, we've got time for about one more. So Perry, if you want to take the last question. Um, I said I I want a lot of I I want people to doubt me, you know that that push me more. I wanna I want people to say I'm not good enough. I'm not I I can't do this. I can't do that. Cause that just pushed me so much. And when I and when I could embrace that and um go put that on um on the field, I know what I'm gonna do and I know what I'm gonna, like I know how I'm gonna do it. So I'm just I'm I'm so ready to prove not just prove but just get better. And I'm just so ready to play because I know I know we got a lot to prove and. And I'm just so ready to do that because 
people going to doubt, people going to hate, but I just I just I just bought out all the noise and just do what I do. So um I'm so ready to just to get on the field with the guys and just have a good time cuz I know this going to be a good one.